Left Peru and sailed to England alone. There he met the Browns and they took him home. Now a new life has begun. He's Windsor Gardens' favorite son. Cause he always does his best to help everyone. When a problem appears, he never misses a beat. And always finds a way to land on his feet. Has his very own unique point of view. Looks at everything as if it's brand new. He is friendly and polite. And he tries to do things right. But he gets in sticky messes just the same. He's curious and speaks his mind, but trouble's never far behind. It's Paddington Bear, he's one of a kind. I'm Paddington Bear. <laughs> Have you seen Paddington? <gasps> he must still be in bed. Why? He seems to have brought a friend home. <laughs> what friend? I can't find my other slipper. You were wearing both of them last... <laughs> that sounded like a dog. A, a dog? dog? <laughs> we heard some barking just now, Paddington. Bears don't bark, Mr Brown. We sometimes grumble, but we never bark. What's that? What's what? Where did you get that dog, Paddington? I didn't get it anywhere, Mrs. Bird. It followed me home. Isn't he wonderful? I call him Windsor. Wasn't he clever to find your slipper, Mr. Brown? I'm afraid you can't keep it, Paddington. He'll have to go. But you took me in when I was lost and had nowhere to go. That's different. You had a label round your neck saying, please look after this bear. <laughs> Thank you. I could make Windsor a label, if you like. I'm afraid Mrs. Brown is allergic to dogs, so he mustn't come into the house again. <laughs> Reward? <laughs> what do you intend to do with that dog bear? I'm going to try and find Windsor's owners, Mr. Curry. That sounds like a tall order for a young bear like yourself. But if I were to take care of the dog while you look for the owners, that would make us equal partners. So that legally, any reward money would be shared equally between us. I don't know if... Well, that's settled in. The sooner you get cracking, Bear, the sooner I get that reward. I, I, I mean, the sooner we get that reward. Come along, little fellow. Stop that! Found. Small puppy. Owners, please contact Mr. P. Brown at 32 Windsor Gardens. Now to take a photo of Windsor to put on the found posters. Come back here! Dog, will you do as I told? <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it! What are you doing about finding this dog's owners, Bear? I'm making some posters, Mr. Curry. The print shop said it would cost five pounds, but I don't have any money. <laughs> Highway robbery. This had better produce results, Bear. I can get that bear to take care of the dog and find the owners. He must have got away from Mr. Curry, Windsor. He'll be very upset. I'm afraid you'll have to go back. I wonder how he got out and tangled himself up like that. <laughs> He's a very smart dog, Mr. Curry. Not very smart in the house training d department. What a 
those, Bear. The found posters, Mr. Curry. You can't use that photograph. I look like an idiot. They might be rather costly to change. Oh, never mind. I'll take care of the posters, but you do something about training this dog. Windsor, come. <laughs> Sit. How do you do that, Bear? Dogs are very fond of marmalade chunks, Mr. Curry. <laughs> you can't train a dog with marmalade chunks. Why don't you try it, Mr. Curry? <laughs> stop! I say stop, dog! Maybe that bear is onto something. <laughs> Wonderful. But where did you find that newspaper? Oh. Has someone picked up the newspaper? That's our puppy. Oh, I don't like the look of that lunatic with him. We must hurry to 32 Windsor Gardens. <laughs> You're starting to grow on me, Windsor. If I'm lucky, maybe your owner won't show up. <laughs> Mr Curry doesn't often leave his house. Ah, good morning. Uh, what can I do for you? We've come for Windsor, Mr Curry. Windsor? Oh, the dog! He's gone! Run away! Off! Good riddance. Hmm. I'll try calling him. Come, Windsor! Come! <laughs> You're back. Why, look at him. Look at how well trained he is. Who trained him? <laughs> I must say, it wasn't easy, but I've dealt with more difficult cases. Well, isn't this fortuitous? Yes, isn't it? I'm a dog breeder. I have this Rottweiler called Fang. He's a real monster. <laughs> Why don't I bring him round and you can have a go at him? I, uh, I'm, I'm very busy, you see. I'd be happy to help, Mr Curry. After all, you did help me find Windsor's owners. I understand why we had to travel so far, only to end up back in London, Mr. Gruber. <laughs> no, no, Mr. Brown. You see, this is London, Ontario, in Canada. It has the same name, but it is completely different. Oh, that must be Dash Logan. Are you here for the air show? Oh, yes, I love aircraft. I used to fly a biplane when I was a young man. Sorry we're all out of marmalade, but try this maple syrup on your pancakes. Mmm. It's very nice, thank you. Be careful, though. It's awfully sticky. Oh. Oops. It's even stickier than marmalade. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear, Mr. Brown. This is not a very good start to the day. <laughs> it's okay. Keep the bottle as a souvenir. Thank you very much. Oh. Ouch! Oh. Does this hurt? Yeah! I must have sprained my ankle when I fell off the wing. We're supposed to perform this afternoon. Where am I going to find another wing walker at such short notice? I told you, Billy. Wing walking's not only old-fashioned, it's dangerous. You should get a jet like mine. People love our daredevil act just fine. Do you hear that noise, Mr. Brown? No, Mr. Gruber. 
I'm afraid I've got some syrup on my Wellington boots. <laughs> Never mind. Look at that glider. I've never seen a plane with two sets of wings before. I've got to find a wing walker in the next two hours or I'm sunk. No? Well, thanks anyway. Excuse me, but did I hear you say you need someone to walk on the wing? Yes. Do you know how? Bears are very good at walking. Really? Certainly. I learned to walk when I was a young bear. No kidding! A real pro, eh? You're a lifesaver! I'm Billy the Barnstormer, the greatest daredevil pilot in the world! Put her there, pal. I'm Paddington Brown. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Barnstormer. Whoa! That's quite a grip you have there, Mr. Brown. Oh dear, I'm afraid I got maple syrup all over my paws by mistake. We'll meet at two o'clock. I'll be here. Look, Mr. Brown, that's a Lancaster bomber. There are only a few left in the world. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This afternoon, I will perform my famous double loop. And I will be wing walking with Billy the Barnstormer. Boring. Billy's act is old fashioned. Nobody wing walks anymore, and you're not Daredevil Macduff. No, I'm a Daredevil bear. Uh, Mr. Brown, are you sure? Wing walking is very dangerous. Don't worry, Mr. Gruber. I'll be all right. I could do it with my eyes shut. But remember, Mr. Brown, you may feel differently about it when you are thousands of feet in the sky. What? No, no, not thousands of feet. Phew. Then I've nothing to worry about. Just 1,000 feet. We want people on the ground to see us. Listen, if you're getting cold feet, I understand. Cold feet? Oh, no. I'm wearing my Wellingtons. Excuse me. I won't be a moment. Watch as Dash Logan takes off to demonstrate his famous double loop. If you're worried about your bear friend, you can come up with this, you know. Thank you. I don't mind if I do. I'm ready now. Okay. It's showtime. Now, Billy Barnstormer and the Daredevil Bear will demonstrate the art of wing walking. Okay, I've leveled up. Now give me a thumbs up when you're ready. I'm afraid I can't. Bears don't have thumbs. <laughs> Please be careful. Oh, oh dear, Mr. Brown, I'll help you. Thank you, Mr. Gruber. That bear is a born daredevil. Let's give him one more pass. Hold on. I'm going to wiggle the wings. Pardon? Wiggle! Wiggle! That was great! I'm taking her down! What a display of skill and daring! Let's hear it for Billy the Barnstormer and the Daredevil Bear! have to stay on the wing during the landing, Mr. Brown. Oh, but I did, Mr. Gruber. Thanks to my souvenir maple syrup, I couldn't help myself. I like who I am and I want to be me. Don't want to be anyone on 
TV. Get out in the sun and make the day fun! Oh. <laughs> no, Paddington. It's I'm like going this. Cool, cause I'm no fool. I learn good stuff, and that is cool. When I'm going down the hall, I'm 20 feet tall. Whoops! Oh. Whoa! Certainly not like that. Like this. Whoops. Like this. Ta-da! Huh? I can do that. Whoa! Paddington, maybe you should just play the guitar. Mrs. Bird, I didn't know you were a Nutmegs fan too. You're never too old to rock and roll. Why don't you come to the concert with us tonight? Oh, yes, please. Paddington's coming too. But what'll I wear? Don't worry, you'll look smashing. That's a real good way to show you care. care. We, we dance, dance in, in the, the sun, sun and make, make it all fun. fun. <laughs> My fire is totally snuffed. I'm totally tuned out of this scene. Uh, hold on a sec. Oh, come on, Jive Baby, you can do it. I know you're tired, you need a break, but listen to those fans, the show must go on. Yeah, yeah, he's coming. What I wouldn't fork over to pitch a switch. Now? Get someone to take your place now? Jive, baby, be realistic. You're on stage in ten minutes. Besides, there's no one like you on this whole planet. Is that in cement? Absolutely no one. I'd better get some security to help you get in. Wow, repeat and repeat. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Chive. My name's Paddington. I'm very pleased to meet you. Can you pull a string and make it sing? Why, yes. I broke one of those this morning. Broken, smoking. You're my guy to fly. Come on, Chive. You're on in five minutes. Paddington, the nutmegs are on in five minutes. Come on, let's sit right at the front. What a good idea. I've brought my old autograph book, just in case. <laughs> Knock him dead, kid. Oh, dear. Wanna be me? Don't wanna be anyone on TV. Get out in the sun and make the day fun. Life, life, life. Make it jive, jive, jive. Whoa! What's the rage on the stage? He's all wired and looking fired. Addington, sit down. I'm good to my friends and we all share. That's a real good way to show you care. We dance in the sun and make it all fun. That furball really grew. When I'm finished playing, I pick up my stuff, cos losing things is really rough. I help out my mum and I help out my dad, cos not doing that will make them sad. Arnie, you should see Jive tonight. He's really lighting up the stage. Hey, I'm the Jive Jive, but dig the cool fool. And it's... but... Uh, 
I had an itch to pull a switch, but now I'm back for a whack. Paddington! Look out, this lady does serious umbrella. You're not Paddington. You want your bear? He's grooving there. But if that's Paddington out there, then you must be... Charlie! Charlie! The tune's gonna end. Let's yank your friend. Oh, hello, Mr. Chive. Was that all right? Paddington, you were brilliant! Thanks, little bear. Now dish out the hair. Hey, Jive, here's your jacket for your next number. Thank you, Mr. Chive. I was getting a little warm. I loved your racket. Keep my old jacket. Thank you. It's very sparkly. Mr. Chive, would you sign this to Mrs. Bird? If you let me be, cos I'm me, not he. To Mrs. B from Jive C. You're home. I can dig it. Let's go wig it. Thanks, little dude. Your music's rude. <laughs> It was so good, and the best part was that Paddington gave me Jive's jacket. Of course you can try it on. Come on over. Here you go. A fresh batch of marmalade for our star bear. It was fun being a rock star bear, but I have to say, these are not guitar-playing paws. These are marmalade-eating paws.